Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can use DVD Flick, a free program that you can go download online, in order to take a video file and turn that into a DVD file, uh, more specifically an ISO, that you can burn to a DVD or mount on a uh, program like Virtual Clone Drive in order to get functionality uh, like a DVD movie that you would purchase in the store. So the first thing we have to do is actually get this video file we want to include in this DVD uh, on there. And we can do that by either dragging and dropping it in or hitting add title. Uh, I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Uh, add title would basically uh, allow you to search through your computer and find the audio or the video that you want. Um, as you can see, this video file is taking up 28% of the max DVD size. Uh, there is a max capacity for DVDs. It's, yeah, well, apparently 4.5 gigabytes. Um, or 4.3, something like that anyway. Uh, so now what we're going to want to do is, uh, I believe, go into Project Settings. And the reason we're going to do this is because if you want to actually take this DVD compilation and put it on an actual DVD or mount it to a drive so that you can actually use it properly, then you want to make sure that under the burning tab that you have create ISO image checked. Um, so what an ISO is, is it, it's a file that you can burn to a actual physical DVD or you can mount it in virtual clone drive or similar programs. Most of the other settings uh, we can leave alone. One other thing I would probably change is the title of the DVD. So we could say getting started with GIMP, since that's the name of the video file that we're putting on it. Uh, burning, hit accept. And uh, I mean, with that, it, it, it's basically simplified here. So uh, we could actually go ahead and create the DVD. You're, you're free to add in more uh, files to the project if you want. But this is the bare minimum that you would need to create the DVD ISO file. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually export this right now. And uh, let's see, we use that uh, create DVD in order to do that. Um, so now it's going to go ahead and encode the video, uh, go through the other steps, put it inside of an ISO file, and then it will eventually be done. Uh, this process does take a little while though, so I've already basically uh, done this ahead of time. And we can go ahead and open this up. We can see that with the ISO file mounted on a uh, virtual clone drive, um, we can see right here, drive D, uh, we have the uh, DVD files right here, which is basically the same thing you would see if you ever opened up a DVD movie. Um, if you pop this into a DVD drive, uh, like an actual physical one, um, or a DVD player, you should be able to play it as normal there. Alternatively, uh, you could just open up these .vop files. Um, now where this is being taken from is it's basically the export location, uh, where if you're inside of DVD Flick, uh, I'll go ahead and actually open it up again. But anyway, if you're in DVD Flick, it'll say where your files are going to export it to. Um, so in this case, it was exporting to Chris slash OneDrive slash document slash DVD ebook, uh, whatever file path you want to have there. And then when it's done exporting, if you did have DVD checked, you will end up with this ISO file, and that's what you want to actually burn to a DVD or to mount in a program like Virtual Clone Drive or Damien Tools. And the files that are going to be in this DVD ISO are the exact same that you find in this DVD uh, folder the video underscore TS and the audio underscore TS uh, basically folders with all the files inside of it and uh, that's pretty much it so until my next tutorial I guess I'll see you guys later